Need approval of town board meeting minutes of December 10th, 2007. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Reno? Yes. Mr. Wacky? Yes. Mr. Ryback? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Dzinski? Yes. Chris, I have one item. Due to the extremely amount, heavy amount of snow we received in December, we've got to have permission to buy 5,000 tons of salt, and Gene has a budget not to shoot very much. You can check that out, Gene. Yeah, highway budget does have enough that I can mod. If you look on your modifications, we can mod enough to buy 5,000 tons this year. So if you'd like to do that, using the money has in this year's budget. Is it on here, Gene? It is. If you go, the, the highway is the last section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you see like there's mm -hmm. two sections under highway. Oh, yeah. So the oh, last one's to the right. I just listed salt <laughs> once, and I chose oh, yeah. to purchase an additional 5,000 tons of salt. And that's from the capital paving? It's from all of those accounts. All of them by buying. All of those dollar amounts need to come out of those is into the SALT account, and they will total 182, 657, 53, yeah. which will be a little bit more than he needs to buy 5,000 tons of SALT. Okay. Is there a motion? Motion to approve is presented. Second. Yes. 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 Anything else, Chris? No, that's it. Chief. Uh, just one thing. Uh, over the last few months, uh, as some of you may know, we have a mascot, a mascot officer, Cody. And uh, it's not an easy task to find people to put that suit on and wear it and go out in public. Uh, we've had great success with many of our young people from the canteen, from the team center. And I just want to thank Jody and praise to all the kids who come and volunteer to put that on, wear it, and uh, represent uh, the police department. So thank you. Start with the chief. <laughs> received a memo in your mailboxes today and I apologize for the delay. Um, it's actually concerning myself. Um, tomorrow I will be with Town of Cicero for six months and when I was hired uh, I was told that at my six month anniversary my salary would be increased to $49,440. So I'm asking the town board to approve that so that I can do that for the next payroll cycle. Motion to approve is presented. Second. Control. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Ms. Tarwacki? Yes. Mr. Ryback? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Dzinski? Yes, and I might add, Gene, that you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's all. Hello. Nothing, thank you. Nothing. Just enough, Joe. You call me Jay. <laughs> 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 Mr. Sykes today. Um, I gave the board a memo and a map. And it's this portion of the meeting is in regards to the land and the acceptance of additional parkland from a developer through the planning board process. This development is off of Bear Springs Road and it, it runs east off of Bear Springs. It's Bob Gleason's property and is um, contiguous with Town of Cicero property, Plank Road Park and Plank Road North, which was the old Save the County land. Um, the pink on this map shows what is town property. The orange outlined is the delineation of the <coughs> wetlands area, and it's about 17.21 acres that the developer would like to extend to the town of Cicero. And in order for the town to take it, you as a board need to accept it with a resolution. Um, we will have access from this point all the way over to this point um, in the property itself, so it gives us access. It also allows us to, to extend existing trails that are in these two areas um, of the parkland that we, we currently own in through this wetlands area. I uh, see it as Boy Scout, Eagle Scout projects, continuation of that, um, and numerous different groups that like to do community service, and also it gives us more flexibility with some of our programming to get into more nature-related uh, activities. Is that the entire parcel, the one outlining? The orange is the entire parcel that they they want to turn over to the town. Mm -hmm. And that's 17 and? 17.21 acres. acres. Okay. And the pink is the existing Yes, this park. right here is Plank Road Park. This is Mud Mill Road right here, okay. down to Route 11. Mm -hmm. 
We have 40 acres in this parcel, and then we have 19 point something in the Save the County property. And the only things that I ask for in my memo, and I'm not sure if there are things that are legally acceptable to ask, but um, for the developer to do all the legal paperwork before you accept it, that they give us a state survey that delineates the town's property from the private property, because below that, uh, the, the southern line on that, or I should say the western line, is the back of all the houses that would be built there, and the possibility that the developer post signage on behalf of the town when the subdivision land in that area is developed identifying town property at the rear of those lots that it is town property and potentially there's no encroachment by the residents into tar uh, town land so that we don't have the expense of those signs potentially have you talked to the developer about those issues i have not the dark area on the map just for everybody knows is the wetlands correct yes and, and one last comment, um, it has been a requirement by previous boards that any additional parkland has to be accepted by the board, the seated board at the time, before it can be accepted into park property. So that's should why it's being brought to you folks. Should we have legal uh, kind of dialogue with these people first? I think, I think it's, it's somewhat been started because their preliminary plan is for your planning board right now. And I think the intent, and Joey's intent in bringing this before you tonight, is to just to get an idea from the town board as to whether you would be willing to accept this as parkland so that the developer doesn't go too much further <coughs> with their project and then have the town say, you know what, we really don't want to accept that land from you. Um, it's so that they have, you know, some assurance that the town does have an interest in this and moving forward in this direction is the, the way this town board would like them to go. I agree, but I also go back to what you said, you know, so as long as there's no additional cost borne by the town or its taxpayers, to, uh, to absorb this land or to take this land on, that's fine. Well, but do we have reduced taxes for the town's reserves? I mean, if we take it on as a park, currently the developer's paying taxes on that piece of property. I would assume so. And he would have to continue. <coughs> and believe me, I'm not talking negative about doing this, but he would have to continue to pay taxes on the park that's not usable for his development. If he didn't dedicate it to the town. Right. 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 I, I would assume so, yes. Right. Because the wetlands, it's, to him, it's basically useless. Right. right. I don't know how much it would be assessed for. Probably the, it's a reach out for sure of the, right. the amount of assessment based on the amount of wetlands. And right. the really good portions right here. Yeah, all the way. So this call, the, the preliminary discussions in the planning board with the developers have been positive for this? Um, I, 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 I do remember being at a couple of the meetings. Yeah, from what I recall, um, the public hearing on this subdivision has been kept open. And I think at Monday night's meeting, they talked about hopefully being able to move forward and finalize the preliminary plan at one of the meetings in January. Okay. I, if you're looking, I, I mean, I have no problem with going forward with that. And, I don't know if the developer will be agreeable to providing the state portion of it. You know, obviously, probably pretty costly along there, but I think it's probably a good idea to attempt to do that. But I think it's a good idea. Long term, though, it's going to be a reduction in cost. But yeah, exactly. What we can do too is um, I can write a letter on behalf of the town board to the planning board with Jody's requests, and maybe the planning board would be able to make that a condition of the subdivision approval that those those items are satisfied. Does that sound like a reasonable? Sounds fine. I, I was just going to mention that the back of those lots have to be staked anyways for the homeowners so we can pick up from that point too. But I would like a survey of the property. Mm -hmm. We've paid quite a bit of money through the years to survey our own property. If we can have one of that, yeah. even if they're just giving certain points on it, um, would be important to have in our files. It may already have been surveyed if they're putting lots on it. You may just need some stakes in the right places. Could be. You guys, so I'll make a motion that we proceed and uh, request that the attorney uh, draft the letter as requested by uh, Jody uh, with those three provisions as set forth. Second. Ms. Sabrina? Yes. Mr. Wacky? Yes. Mr. Reba? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Bazinski? Yes. 